Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Krista aka Bahiminisa and today's video is all about how to wear your carnival stockings. And I can't remember who I learned from, but somebody taught me this. So I'm passing on the info to you. And there's a lot of different ways to wear your carnival stockings or basically to keep them in place so the band doesn't show. But here's the way I personally have done it. I'm gonna walk you through step by step how I typically wear my stockings and hide the band from showing during carnival time. Obviously you're gonna need your carnival bottoms. I have a whole bunch. <laughs> I'm actually gonna show you guys different ways to do, cause it, there are some bottoms that are very low, 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 low cut. Some are high cut, some are high cut and low cut. There's just different ways of doing it, but I'm just gonna show you the basics with kind of like a, a regular low cut bottom first. Obviously you need your stockings. I choose Carnivalista. Others may choose otherwise. It's all depending on your preference. I've just used this for a really long time. So there are the V-cut stockings as well. I don't have any experience with that, but they look pretty cool. Definitely, definitely you're gonna need this. This is basically like a sewing kit that I bought on Amazon for a really, really cheap price. It's a little discombobulated right now, but before I promise you it was organized. You're either gonna need brown thread or whatever color thread it is that your skin is or the stocking is, or you can use the color of your costume bottom. Thankfully, this sewing kit actually has the color orange. Definitely gonna need some needles, scissors, you might need this, you know, the, the pin with the, um, yeah, you might need that as well. And that's pretty much it. I think optional is another pair of hands. Like if you travel with somebody or girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, let them help you to secure it, especially if you're securing it from the back. But those are just basically the basics that you need. I will put this link in the description box below so you can purchase it. It was pretty cheap, I think between two to three dollars or two to four dollars. Um, but I'll put the price in the description box below. And yeah, let's just get started. Carnivalista already has a very thin band. So I know some people will tell you to just cut the band off, but I've never cut this band because it's already super thin and I'm afraid to see what happens. But maybe one day I'll try it because there, I know some really good vets, carnival vets that have said, just cut the band off and you'll be good. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys the way I sew my bottoms on. This is the, the nude thong by Carnivalisa as well as the stockings in naked style truffle. I wear the truffle color. Now sometimes you don't even need to sew because look, it'll just line up automatically. But I'm, I know some people get worried about um, jumping up and down and moving around and stuff like that. If, if I was wearing actively wearing this, um, to a carnival I would probably just leave it like this if I didn't have a lot of time another tip is make sure you have enough time to do this put enough time in your schedule to actually sit down sew it together if you have time if you don't you might just be able to get away with the um, stocking and the panty just so so for this I'm definitely gonna use the brown just because that's what I typically use and regular needle I'm going to pick my length which is about like this long and I'm going to cut with my little scissors there we go I cut it and if you don't know how to thread a needle you literally I literally like lick it goes through and then I line up my thread you don't really need a lot of thread um, I just tend to do a lot um, because you're only going to be doing like, I probably would should have used just half of this, but mm, oh well, we here. I'm going to make a knot. And I think the less thread you use, the better because sometimes when you put the thread through the fabric, sometimes it gets all, you know, discombobulated. And the less thread, the better because you have less thread going through that little tiny hole that you need to sew. So I got my knot. Oh, as you can see, I've just been wearing this for like a few minutes and already the band is coming up. This is just an example of what happens to me when I don't sew my stockings. I don't see an issue with the sides. I more so see an issue with the front and maybe a little bit with the back. So my points of reference, as I like to call them, are going to be the front 
and the back because that's where I see the problem area starting to, you know, get out of control. I'm going to line up my stocking or line up the panty with the stocking like so. Line them up like that. And then I start to, ch I just make sure everything's in place where I need it to be before I start sewing. So I push through like that. I always, I sew away from my body because I don't wanna, well, you're eventually you're gonna end up going this way, but you gotta start sewing away because of the knot and the excess thread on the other side. Take your time because the string can get a little messed up and all, then you might get a little frustrated. You may, might not have a lot of time. So take your time. You only need like maybe, I wanna say rule of thumb 10, 10 rounds. So back and forth, 10. So this is three. Make sure you get the thick part of the band so that it's anchored onto the panty. So like I said, we're gonna go through it 10 times. I count it 10 times. You can do it more. As you can see, that left side is lifting a little bit, but I just stuck with 10. And then before 10. I knot it again, I like to make sure and check um, that it'll be covered. So now I wanna bend over, practice. Wine, 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 <laughs> and see if anything pops up. So far, not, not, nothing. You might have to readjust throughout the day, but it'll probably, it definitely is gonna stick and stay where it needs to be. So I'm pretty happy with what I have here. I, I, you can see a little bit coming up here, but it's not super noticeable because these are, these basically match my skin, so nobody's gonna see anything anyway. And after a couple hours, everybody gonna be drunk on the road. So to me, it doesn't really matter, but I just don't want the band to super noticeably be up here and then the panty be down here, if that makes sense. I just need them to be on one accord. So I'm gonna make a knot. And make sure you secure the knot, like really tight. And we cut. I just tuck that bad boy in. So that's the front. Now the back is tricky because I can't see, but I, ugh, I can see, but you know. Um, I'm gonna use the same thread. I kind of take back the, the part about not using long thread, but if you don't use a lot of the thread, then you might wanna use less. I guess it just depends on the person. I'm gonna make another knot with the rest of this thread. Like this is how much I have left. And I'm gonna look at the back. This is the part I wanna get rid of. I need it to dip just like the panty. So I'm probably gonna start here, go all the way across. So I just match up the band and the panty and make sure that nothing is showing before I start. Make that you don't sew your panties onto your stockings if you wear any. Some people don't wear panties with stockings, that's on them. Sometimes I try to wear them, but sometimes depending on the costume, you can't wear them all the time because then it look really crazy. It really just depends. So the same thing here, rule of thumb, 10 or more, I think, if you feel like you need to keep going. So, two. And the back is definitely helpful with another set of eyes or another set of hands. If you could get one of your girlfriends or your guy friends, because guys can sew too, <laughs> to do it for you. So I'm pretty sure I did another kind of 10 here, but just FYI, Sewing so the back is kind of difficult, so another set of eyes is important or use a mirror because I definitely made a few boo-boos here. So I'm making all the mistakes right now so y'all don't make them. <laughs> so important to go out, then back in, then out with your thread. Kind of all the way across. This is going to be my last one right here. I'm going to make a knot. Then I'm going to cut. Tuck. and that's me so then this is what it's looking like
Your point of reference could be anything. It just depends where you feel like the stocking is coming up the most and showing the most. So I did the, the front and the back. Um, for lower cut panties, your point of reference might be down here and your sides just to reinforce. I had a bodysuit that was cut all the way down here once and I had to make, and it was high cut. So I, my points of reference ended up being like all the way up here while the bottom was all the way down like that. Literally should only take you maybe uh, a couple minutes, five to 10 minutes. And if, you're, if you have somebody with you to help you, it'll definitely be a lot faster. But definitely make sure you carve out enough time to do it, um, waiting for a makeup appointment. If you already took a shower and all you need to do is put these bad boys on, I would suggest doing it then. Um, just find a pocket of time is basically what I'm saying. I don't want to say this is it because there are different types of bottoms, but I'll show you guys what I mean when I say points of reference for different types of bottoms. Also, very quickly, I already cut the, the string um, just so I can try the other bottoms on. But if you guys are using the bathroom, the reason why I said make sure your panties aren't um, on it is basically all you have to do is pull them down together you know the stockings and the panties because they are the two that are sewn together and then you should be able to use the bathroom with no problem it really depends on what you're wearing though because if it's like a monokini something like that or whatever you might have to make just like a little hole in the bottom of your stockings and pull it to the side usually i've had bottoms where i could just you know pull it to the side or um i just take them down regular like this so for something like this, like a high waist something or other, you may not need to, but if you feel like you need to, your point of reference would probably be at the sides because you want to keep this smooth, seamless look, high cut look. My advice would be to tuck, tuck, tack it here and, and tack it here, and then maybe tack it at the back, like maybe twice or three times. Another bottom, this is my Lost Tribe bottom from 2019. And as you can see, it's like almost like a semi cage bottom with like this kind of situation going on. And then the back is kind of velvety. It's kind of puffed out all these different things. What I would do is I would tack it here first and foremost, like at these two points and then tack it here because you obviously want it to be secure down here. You don't want it coming up and down and stuff like that. And you want it to kind of match the height of this so when this pulls up and down like it literally moves with the bottom also you're gonna have to tack it at the back so with your cutout bottoms it really just depends on the cut out of the panty like how is it positioned on you is it lower is it like three cuts here do you want to go lower do you want to cover that up like you could also even tie this up and tack it right here and here 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 and at the back depending on what you want want the look to look like. Last but not least, when you have a bodysuit like this or bikini that you want to turn into a bodysuit and it's like this, um, usually for something like this, I wouldn't wear um, a thong underneath, but that's just me. I'm going to bring this up here and bring this here and tack them to the sides like so. So let me show you all real quick. I'm going to tack it right there to the side tack it to the side make sure the band is underneath the bathing suit or bodysuit i'm going to tack it here too i would use white thread for this and then obviously i'm going to reinforce it at the back because as you can see this is down here this bathing suit is a little bit too big for me but yours should fit but in either event just make sure you tack it at the back and i would do it one at a time actually start with the sides sides first because they're probably like the hardest parts tack it like right here this you may not need to but oh well depends on what you're wearing um i would just do like maybe two or three here and then secure it at the back here like so and those are the different bottoms that come to mind and that's about it that wraps up basically like the tutorial of how to wear your carnival stockings um, I hope you guys found it helpful, especially with the different types of bottoms and the points of references and where you should sew, where you shouldn't sew. Other options are you can cut the band, but you know, for some of the high cut, low cut bottoms, it doesn't work out that well. So I would recommend sewing. I know some people that have crazy glued 
their stockings to their bottoms. I haven't personally done that. I wouldn't do it just because I don't want to burn my skin, you know, to each its own. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Have you tried this before? Would you try it? Do you think it's something that you would do or would start doing for your costume bottoms? Because nowadays carnival costumes comes in, come in various shapes and sizes and styles and cuts and whatnot. But yeah, let me know if you guys like it. All of the items I um, showed you guys, I will put in the description box below. But yeah, let me know if you like it. Subscribe to my channel because there's definitely gonna be more content like this. And if you guys have anything you want me to kind of video or vlog or show you guys, just let me know in the comments below. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.